movement. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. As you said, a stop movement, uh, a slow movement. It is something quite interesting nowadays in in a way uh, that we live in the, uh, the fast track. Um, I think we all have experienced this kind of stress moments and uh, I haven't got time for this, I haven't got time for that. But um, what happens, uh, what happens in our lives, in our society, that that's the feeling we have, uh, especially with the youngsters, uh, children. Um, and I think, I think I, I uh, wrote the paper and created this um, uh, presentation because of the worry I, I, I feel and the, the, what I see around me uh, in my uh, university. So um, this is it, make time. We need to make time, we are on the clock. Make time go by faster, okay? So we are making time, uh, in fact, to do more things, to fill our lives a bit more, to go faster. Faster is not fast enough. Uh, instant, instant gratification is not fast enough nowadays. Uh, we we are surrounded by this kind of uh, uh, by this kind of uh, messages. Eh? Don't waste your time, or time will waste you. So that's the message we give um, our students, our children. Come on, then don't waste your time. Uh, do something uh, uh, as if as if it were forbidden. You know to, the, the the luxury of just do nothing and think. Um, I think it, it is my humble opinion, of course, that it is a problem in society and in education. We start, I mean, um, this epitomizes a bit what, uh, what our, our life says. I don't know if you, I, I remember when I was little, that, uh, you know, we were all uh, sitting, I mean, I'm quite old nowadays, but we all sat at the table sharing uh, our days. And I encounter myself nowadays, I also have a daughter, um, um, you know, having dinner, uh, perhaps not cook dinner by us um, in front of the telly. Um, so that again, it is not time, not time to waste. I'm not saying this is not a, a, a publicity. I'm trying to uh, to reinforce on you here, but it, it epitomizes again the idea of okay, let's get something to it. Um, what would you like to have? Uh, I don't. I don't feel like cooking. We had that momentum yesterday in my house. Uh, I don't feel like cooking, so let's order something. And um, we had our meal, quite tasty, by the way, um, in front of the television. So, again, um, what took two hours to have um, uh, for a meal in the past, it takes now 20 minutes. Uh, and we are multitasking, you see. Uh, we are watching the telly. We are looking uh, at... Um, uh, uh, mobile phones, at the same time, perhaps, uh, I don't know, emails or... So it is, everything needs to be crammed in. This is just the, the context eh? I'm trying to, to set up for you uh, to understand what happens in education as well. And perhaps many of you recognize what I'm going to say. Uh, so slow food has been uh, substituted by fast food in a fast society where there is no time to waste. Um, I don't know, uh, I suppose that many of you have uh, children. Um, I was appalled uh, lately by um, the amount of extracurricular activities that children have. So they finish a school, and the demand that they have, I don't know, uh, tennis practice, 
and the interest that they have in um, music lessons and so on. So the, the thing is that um, we need to keep busy. We are busy parents because we have our own life. So we keep our children busy as well. Um, I have seen, uh, well, um, I teach at university, but um, I, I used to have a, a language school and uh, I have seen children um, around 13, 12, with their mobile phones, trying to make an appointment, you know, to, to, to get out. Um, no, Monday I can't know because I have this. Uh, no, uh, Tuesday impossible. So I had a momentum there thinking they are 12, but they are behaving like adults because... We, adults, um, make them behave that way. They need to be busy, not wasting time, because if they waste time, they perhaps they miss things out. Um, so there is no time to, to rest. There is no time to, um, even though these are very enjoyable uh, activities, and I am sure very uh, ludic as well, um, they learn things. But the idea of keeping busy all the time, just in case you miss something out. And of course, the almighty social media. Eh? So uh, we are all, uh, this is addictive, and we are all, uh, or perhaps some of you say, no, I have no social media at all. I have no interest in social media. I do not look at that. But the, the, the youngsters do. They are constantly um, with their noses on the uh, on the mobile phones. Um, last time I was somewhere in a city in um, in the underground, and I looked around me to the to the passengers, and they were all you know with the noses uh, on the uh, mobile phones with uh, LinkedIn or or Facebook or, or TikTok. Or, so um, I look at my own daughter's telephone as well, and I see all, I don't know, 200 messages, 200 uh, um, uh, um, in, uh, things that are coming in. That's crazy. That's crazy. That takes up so much of our time that um, it is, again, all this data not to miss out anything. And we have spent lots of time there. So in the long run, I have no idea what the consequences will be, but that is no slow living. That is, I need to go fast. I need to go faster. I do, I do not want to miss out. And that's the message we parents and teachers as well give um, students. If we look at systems of education, eh? so uh, we have, uh, I don't know if there is somebody from Finland here, but we have Finland, always the number one. Eh? Number one, uh, they uh, score very well, um, children are happy, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the top 10, um, perhaps um, not the reality, Perhaps um, some of you could find another list, but uh, Finland appears always as number one <clears throat> regarding the system of education and the, the, the happiness um, uh, the children experience, their uh, own motivation. Um, and then we have a quite interesting, uh, uh, quite interesting uh, combination of countries from classical education, uh, Czech Republic, Hungary, uh, Japan is the uh, Asian, the uh, education, the the um, uh, discipline, um, and some other countries, Australia, Sweden, Iceland, uh, very similar to, to Finland. But um, why is Finland um, number one? Do they have, do they, do they, uh, do they exercise what it is? what we call slow movement in education? 
let's see first of all what we consider uh, traditional education eh? and modern education. Teacher centered uh, that we know, uh, we, we at a certain age uh, that we all have, we have had this kind of classical education. It is the teacher that is the beacon of all the knowledge, subjects, one way transfer of knowledge, okay, is the teacher. That's the transfer, passive, limited. So students just yes, um, sit there, uh, they are fed, okay, with knowledge and quite theoretical. Um, versus modern education nowadays. Um, so is the learner, the center, subject specific but skills based as well, a multi way transfer interactive, engaging, conceptual, practical. Again, in these two um, uh, traditional or modern education, I do not see any slow schooling because in a different way, the whole day is filled with um, different activities, different projects, different there is no, um, I don't see any space for going slow, you know, take your time, um, uh, think, uh, develop your critical thinking, your empathy. It is, you know, one is more active and the other one is more passive. But again, on the clock. Right, so we need to keep them busy. Uh, that's the thing. Eh? No time to waste. This is um, a typical classroom uh, in uh, Finland. Um, if we look at the setting, uh, we see obviously the teacher in the center. But we see as well, you know, different ways that the, the kids are, they are seated. Some of them uh, are in a kind of chaise long. Uh, um, perhaps um, they are doing different activities. So why, why? Uh, it seems to me that there is a space, no? A space for, for uh, taking time to do things. Uh, perhaps I'm mistaken. But that's my experience with the Finnish system of education. And uh, somebody from Finland perhaps could say, hey, no, that's not that uh, that way any longer, which is, yeah, uh, you know, things are changing everywhere. So why, why we think the system of in Finland is so fantastic? Um, well, first of all, we have freedom. I don't see, I'm going to move myself. Oh, sorry, backspace. I'm going to move myself a little, because I don't see it. So um, freedom of choice, quite interesting as well. So they, they uh, there is a kind of space for freedom, you know? So uh, I could choose something I am really interested in, and I have the time to, to deepen into the matter to be uh, to develop my critical thinking. Um, autonomy of educators. Perhaps many colleagues will disagree now that they have less autonomy, but it is quite important, me coming from a system, um, uh, the Dutch system, that it is very much uh, set on stone once the, 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 the gear is rounded. You cannot do anything new. You have to do what you have to do. Um, the autonomy of educators means that they they could change things around, they could create new things, okay? So again, freedom. Education is a priority. Well compensated teachers, that's always, <laughs> that's always interesting. But learning through play and not always a structure, okay? Um, so all these... This is a recipe, apparently, that works very well in the motivation in, uh, of students in the development of um, emotional intelligence. 
um, in uh, critical thinking, because there is, in my eyes, there is a space here. There is room to slow uh, schooling. Obviously, this is an extreme uh, picture, and possibly in many schools uh, in China, it's not like that. But if I compare the setting uh, before and now, I see here that learn as much as possible. Feed, feed, feed with knowledge, because otherwise you're wasting your time, you're wasting opportunities. Uh, so um, if you do not do this, you will be left behind. That, that's the idea, right? That's, that's the, the, the idea we have when we are not, or we are missing out. Um, I had uh, a couple of years ago a student um, that wanted to do four years in three because he thought he could. So uh, he wanted to fill, you know, to, to have three years well filled uh, with everything to finish earlier. But why? I mean, is it is it to save money? I suppose so. Is it to save time? Um, to go on to the next fast uh, course, short track uh, course, uh, to the next thing? Um, that was not granted because we felt that you need your time to take in knowledge to deepen in knowledge and going faster means only that you touch, you know, certain topics, but not really uh, getting into the, the matter properly. Um, five minutes. Sorry? Five, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Oh, I need to rush. <laughs> Thank you. <time>. So, <laughs> so um, the teacher, uh, so this is, the teacher focus distribution, okay? So the teacher is the beacon of knowledge and the one that uh, decides what the student um, learns, okay? It is more, um, I give you models and you summarize uh, the model, okay? I feel compelled to speak about um, design-based education, which is the education I come from, and it is an idea that is well thought, you know, you need to explore, you need to define, you need to experiment, and you need to uh, prototype and test. This is what we do in my university. There is a problem. They are now, they are not used to doing uh, uh, anything like this, so uh, it is too late for them. They should have started with these when they were uh, at the primary school. Uh, so we encounter students now that they are lost. They haven't got the ability because they have never learned, uh, they have never had the time to do so, uh, to, to learn how to define, ideate, uh, prototype. Um, so it is a good idea, but in my eyes, it doesn't work when it is that late in their lives. So um, we have the, the schooling, the normal schooling, and then we have the unschooling, which is, you know, a new trend in the slow uh, schooling. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but for example, teacher teaches pupils. Uh, uh, I mean, the other one parent learns with child. Um, goals set by teacher. The other one, an unschooling child, chooses what he wants to learn. A teacher follows a set uh, curriculum with a specific work, uh, work, uh, work works. Parents use in, uh, internet museums experiences. So this is homeschooling, but from a very, very uh, inflexible system to a flexibility, um, to, to learn the child, to give the, the, the child time to learn. And then we go to the slow schooling. And you see many children start a school so early, uh, uh, four years old, three years old in many of our systems. So 
The slow schooling starts later on. And there is no this set of tests of exams. Increases the flexibility, enjoyment, okay? Um, it's, it sounds a, a utopia, but to learn, you need to enjoy as well. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, something horrible. Uh, doesn't hurry the child, give the child time. And um, play, play, and structure play is important. Uh, you don't need to structure every moment of the playtime of the children. So um, how is empathy uh, <laughs> reinforced in this kind of uh, thing? Now I see that the slide is quite big. So one minute. Yeah. one minute, yes, yes, get in there. <laughs> so empathy needs time, um, it needs to, um, to to develop. If there is no time because you are too busy with some of the some of the important business as well, we are not we will not be able to do all these activities. Empathy also needs a, a, a critical thinking, and critical thinking needs time to be developed as well as emotional intelligence. And if we are lucky. Uh, this skill that is so important, uh, the children will start seeing with the eyes of another, listen with the ears of another, feeling with the heart of another. But for that, I mean, education, just change education is not enough. We need to change the context around us as well. Otherwise, there is no consensus. And some of the uh, some of the slow living, uh, uh, you know, pr um, principles are here as well. And we try, we try uh, in our lives, but it is difficult because the society is uh, organized in a way that um, we need to not waste time. Uh, so uh, some of them uh, uh, are stress related, some of them are Conscious living, mindfulness, very important, not taught at the schools, uh, purposeful living, um, intentional living, so, you know, in the now, et cetera, et cetera. So, slowness is also about balance. If you must hurry, then hurry slowly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.